I kind of go crazy when I get a good sale, sale, a good deal. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Scogan Beauty. So glad to have you guys here today. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to be talking about my haul from the Bath and Body Works Summer Semi-Annual Sale. I do these on my channel every once in a while, mostly when Bath and Body Works is having a sale because I don't like to pay full price for anything. And I also love Bath and Body Works. If that sounds interesting to you, continue watching this video and maybe consider subscribing to my channel because I do some Bath and Body Works videos. I even have a playlist that is a Bath and Body Works playlist. This summer, the semi-annual sale started on June 1st. Will this video go up when the semi-annual sale is still going on? I think it might go until all of June. And so it might go till the end of June. I don't, I don't know. So this, this video might, it probably will not go up in June. It'll probably be, go up in July. So this sale probably will not sell going on. I just thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what I got. So I went in store for some of this haul and I was online for some of this haul. And as I said before, it started June 1st, kind of. They told everybody it was going to start June 1st, but it actually, they did like a preview where if you are a rewards member, you could start shopping May 31st. And I got an email or a text message or something telling me that. And I was like, oh, cool. But like mentally, I wasn't, I wasn't ready yet. It, this is the most ridiculous thing. So I didn't buy anything on May 31st. So they had some technical glitches. Like it wasn't organizing the site from like low to high. And so you couldn't, like you had to look at everything to find the 75% off candles because it wasn't organizing them for low to high. So it was kind of hard to find stuff and it kind of overwhelmed me. I wasn't mentally, <laughs> sounds so dumb, but I wasn't like in the headspace to, to buy anything. And it was good. You know, I shouldn't be buying stuff if I'm not in a headspace. And I also hadn't decided if I was going to go into town to go into an actual Bath and Body Works on Saturday, June 1st, because I work on Saturdays. I work Wednesday through Saturday. And so a lot of the time I will go into office on Saturday and then I will either go to Bath and Body Works before I go to work or after I go to work. I hadn't, I hadn't made decisions. So um, it turns out I didn't buy anything on May 31st and I didn't buy anything on June 1st either. So I was waiting. So everything on June 1st was sold out that was on May 31st. And so if you waited till June 1st online, it was kind of lame. Everything was pretty much sold out. But if you went in store, the stores are where like the really good deals are. That's where you can find the most 75% off candles, the most 75% off soaps, the most, the most good deals are in stores. So if you really want the best deals, go in store or throughout the month, like the month of June, keep checking for like 75% off candles and so, keep checking for deals. It's an interesting game. They like will stock keep restocking and things that were 50% off will then go 75% off and like as the sale goes on it like continues getting better so don't just give up on the first day like it keeps getting better and better and I I would actually hesitate to say that like unless you get there the very first day at opening because that's a good time to go but if you don't do that then I would wait until like two weeks after the sale starts because it's it's better after a while. So my first purchase, let me talk about it. I made online and I made it on June 10th. And specifically because sometimes online they will have incentives where they have free shipping and like 20% off. And I did have a reward that was 20% off, but it expired on like June 2nd or something. And I let it expire because Remember, I, I didn't, I wasn't mentally prepared on May 31st, which I know is dumb. On June 10th, they had a deal that was free shipping and 20% off. And that was without a reward. It was just a deal that day. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. I had been already planning on getting things. I just hadn't done it yet. Oh, here is the box. It's big. Here is the box of candles and all the nonsense that I got on June 10th. 
Today is <laughs> June 19th. This came in the mail today. So I know that it is June 19th and this, this video won't go up probably till July and you're like, why? Uh, whatever. It's because I have another unboxing video to put up before this and I only put up about one video a week. So I just wanted to let you know the date because it took nine days for this to get to me, which I feel like is a lot, but I understand that it's the semi-annual sale. They have a lot of packages to send out. So it, it just, it took a while. They had on June 10th, 1095 on candles. And it's always specific candles. It's not all of the candles, just specific ones. So which ones did I get for 1095? Let's start with Tropidelic. This is, look how pretty that packaging is. Cool, so it is Irresistible, Passionflower, Ylang Ylang, and Misty Rainforest. Okay, so this is a blind smell for me. I knew that it was 10.95. I had 20% off, which meant means that I actually was able to get it off for $8.22. So I took the leap and got a blind buy because I was like $8 for a candle that the scent notes sound good. The scent notes sound similar to like a sunscreen kind of smell. And I read the reviews and people in the reviews said that as well. I read the reviews because sometimes those reviews are priceless. They'll say like, it has no throw, you know, and, and you listen to those reviews. I mean, not if there's one out of 50 that say it, but you know, listen to the majority of the reviews. Anyways, okay, I can smell a little bit of that sunscreen, but there is a little bit more of a floral scent to it. Less of the banana that sunscreen usually kind of has and more floral. Okay, well, and that makes sense. I mean, look at all those flowers on there. So tropidelic, I do like it. I think it's a nice summery smell. So I'm, I enjoy that, worth $8. So perfect, great, I'm glad for that. Okay, I got another candle. This is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This is a repeat buy for me. Pineapple is one of my favorite scents. It's one of my favorite summer scents. So I really like it. It's almost like a pure pineapple. I mean, they do say it's sweet, pink pineapple, um, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. So it's, it isn't just pineapple, but to me, it is the, one of the most pure pineapples that Bath & Body Works sells. It really is very good. Very nice. Okay, then I got this one was a blind buy as well, and I am a little bit nervous for it. It is sugared lemonade. Okay, so I really like lemon. Lemon is a really nice juicy smell. If it has like too much of a gourmand, like cakey lemon, I don't super love that. Like I kind of like a snow cone, like lemon, like a lemon drop kind of, I don't know. So based on the reviews of this one, this one, people said it had good throw. People said it had like, it, it was kind of that like snow cone lemonade kind of, and it is sugared lemonade. So, oh yes, that's, oh, I love that. That is nice. Good. Okay, this doesn't have the gourmand, and I do, I really like gourmand. It's just not with a lemon. <laughs> okay, I really like that. It's very sweet. It has a very summery, very like sugary snow cone, lemon juice and a snow cone. It is fresh lemon juice, sugar crystals, and crushed ice. Okay, I know that I said that I bought these and that I looked at the scent notes, obviously, but that was nine days ago. I have the memory of a fly. <laughs> I do not remember that. I just pulled all of what I just said to you out of like thin air, like that's what I like. So the fact that it just said crushed ice and sugar crystals, and I feel like I did really good at describing this, so. Yay, win for Bianca and her w ability to describe candles. I did work at a candle company right after college, so I should be able to describe candles kind of well. I got all of these were $8.22. Here, I got a blend. I'm nervous about this one too. This is another blind buy. It just sounded interesting and it looks really pretty with that ombre. I get talked in, I talk myself into things because of packaging and also because of scent notes. So this is Blue Cypress, Coastal Air. Okay, it has a lot of scent notes because it's that blend. So 
Cozlayer Madagascar Vanilla Bean, Warm Cinnamon, Nutmeg. Okay, so it's Ocean and Vanilla Bean. I So the blends can either be really good or really bad. I don't usually find an in-between. So let's see. Oh, I wonder how it would smell on the burn and not just cold, but it is very warm. It is, it, that vanilla is coming through a lot, but I would say that that ocean is more like coming through at the end, like at the, the end of my smell. It's that warm vanilla, very much like you smell, 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 warm vanilla, warm vanilla. And then at the end, you're smelling a little bit of that like musky ocean coastal air and blue cypress. I, interesting. I don't not like it. <laughs> Double negative. I like it. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Cool. This is a repeat buy. It is Waikiki Beach Coconut. It is in a pretty jar, which I like. It's coconut. Is it pineapple as well? No, it is tropical white coconut, salt water breezes, and sun bleached woods. Oh, that's really nice. That coconut is really nice. So repeat buy. Coconut. I love coconut. $8 for a coconut candle. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. This is a blind buy. This is book loft. Okay. Not many of you guys know this about me. I don't know if any of you do. I, I talk about how I'm a nerd all the time. I'm a book nerd a, a lot. I love to read. I stay up way too late at night reading. This one was called book loft and I may have just bought it because of that. Uh, okay. I have not bought this many like I've seen it in the sale or other sales and I'm like no Bianca you can't just buy a candle because it's called book loft but then it was eight dollars and I was like but what if it smells good okay it is I love these descriptions okay sorry it says it doesn't even have scent notes cozy up under a warm blanket as you turn the pages of your favorite book Okay, I swear on the website there are scent notes. Interesting. It is a very non-offensive smell. It is very plain. It's it's like a little bit soapy, kind of clean, kind of flowery. It's just a very like I would I would clean my house and light this smell to make it smell very clean. I would say that I probably won't buy this one again because it's not my favorite, but it's, it's nice. I might just use it as decoration because it says book loft. It's not not worth $8. Okay, cool. I got a, a little candle, orange blossom. I have gotten a couple of these because uh, they're, they're that $16.95 price. And if you have rewards, you can get... Uh, I think $16.95 is the reward, like the price that you can get for rewards. So I've gotten a couple of these for free through the rewards or if they're just good prices. So what did I get this one for? With my 20% off, I got it for $6.35. Not too shabby. And I grew up with orange trees um, in Arizona and orange blossoms are a memory for me and I love them for that nostalgia. So, and these do really smell like orange. In my opinion, I, I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit more um, like perfumey than going outside and smelling orange blossoms, but it does have that essence of orange blossoms that I like. So I do really like that. So on that note, I got these soaps that are orange blossom. So I have never tried these. I have tried that candle before, but I've never tried these soaps. And I actually, um, use the Bath and Body Works soaps in all of the bathrooms in my house and our kitchen sink. So I use the Bath and Body Works soaps a lot, but I, I like the foam soaps. Uh, I prefer them, but for this orange blossom smell, they only have it in this gel soap. I wanted this orange blossom smell, so I got it in the gel set. Maybe one day they'll put it in the foam. Yeah, that's really nice. So I'm glad I got it. I got two of them because I was like, so excited to be able to get it. Okay, how much did I pay for that? It was for two, $4.88. So that's $2.44. $2.50 for a whole soap? I mean, I feel that's like that's like Walmart-ish prices. 
I haven't bought soap from Walmart in a long time because I just buy them for Bath and Body Works. So I think it's ish, ish Walmart, especially because of inflation, right? Okay, cool. What else did I get? I got another soap because I thought it sounded good. This one was, yes, $2.44. I prefer to only get things that are 75% off or around there. Like I try to not get things that are only 50% off. That doesn't always happen. Like those candles were not 75% off. They weren't 50% off either. So they were less than 50%. They were in between like maybe they were 66% off, right? Anyways, this was closer to that 75% off range. It is electric limeade and we have frozen limeade, strawberry, swirl and sea salt rim. It sounds summery and nice. I got some body care stuff. So this is Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. I got two things. This is a moisturizing body wash. I always talk about how I have dry skin. So I like their moisturizing body wash. This is a body cream and I love banana. I love the smell of banana, especially during summertime. Oh, that's nice. That is real nice. So I got this, for, this moisturizing body wash for $2.96. That's really good. Another bath thing I got. This one was probably one of my worst deals, but I really wanted it. <laughs> this is Mimi in Miami. It's another really banana. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like banana. Um, okay, so how much did I get for this one? The, the deal wasn't as good on this one. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you on that one. This one, okay, it was six dollars and seventy three cents, and it is eighteen. Oh, so it is still more than half off. But okay, I got it for like sixty two, sixty three percent off. So still more than half off, but not quite seventy five percent off. Anyways, I'm just really glad to have it because it smells like heaven. I still have my um, in store on there to go order to go through. Bianca, why do you talk so much? Why? Okay. Then I got this cute little, um, car thing, car freshener thing, because I like these in my car. Why not? It's, I like holidays. And so this one is of a bunny. It's originally $12.95. I got it for $4 and 85 cents. Then I got some wallflowers and my box was pretty po potent. It, it had a smell to it. And I think it's this, this Waikiki beach coconut, a wallflower. I think one of them is leaking and that's okay. It's uh, hopefully it's not completely leaked. This was $4 and 88 cents. I got three of these at the beach wallflowers. Okay. At the beach is a scent that rarely goes on sale. This smells like sunblock. And I love this scent. It is one of my favorite Bath and Body Works smells. And it is rarely, rarely, rarely on sale because I feel like it's not in the semi-annual sale because it is, it is like they're one of their best selling summer fragrances. So why would they put it on sale in their summer fragrances? And it's not in their winter one because they probably sell out of it during summertime. I don't know. It's just never on sale. So when this one was on sale, I was like, I'm getting three of them. Anyway love this one so much. It smells so good. White frangipani, toasted coconut, and saltwater breeze. I love it so much. I got these for $2.63 a piece. About. Not too shabby. Last but not least from this whole thing that I got online, I got a car scent. It goes in this little thing. Um, this is that tropidelic scent. And I just like to have, you know, my car smell like summertime during the summertime. And this was $1.85. Nice. And these are supposed to last for a month, supposedly. But for me, they last way longer than a month. So $1.85 for having my car smell like summer for like three months. Because I think they smell like summer for longer. Now let's get to the in-store order. I just realized that my microphone was not plugged in for that entire first part. I would refilm, but it is 1130 at night and I'm tired and I got to work tomorrow. So I am hoping that that's okay. It's my iPhone speaker that will be going instead. And my iPhone, I've dropped it in, you know, the water, the tub, the sink just too many times and it has seen better days. So sorry about the poor, poor speaker quality. The first half of this, uh, video. Hopefully it's better now what I got from Bath and Body Works in store. These bags are brown. And I even asked the cashier, I was like, those bags are new. What happened to the red ones? And she's like, we're using new like biodegradable or 
more recyclable. They're 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 better for the planet. They're more easily to be, they're hundred percent recyclable. And I was like, oh, fantastic, great. So if you notice, the bags are brown. They are now hundred percent recyclable. Going in store, I've talked about this before that it's better to go to like a strip mall than a, a mall mall. But either way, going in store is better than online. The best is going to a strip mall because I feel like they're just less crowded. Less people go to a strip mall to go to Bath and Body Works. More people will go to the mall because they all, you know, run errands at the mall and be like, oh, I'll go to Bath and Body Works too. I got 75% off candles, whereas in the last one from online that I was just showing you, there was no 75% off candles. And I got, I just got a lot more 75% off stuff in store. They'll also have like in store weird stuff that like I didn't even know Bath and Body Works sold, um, which is why it's on sale at the 75% off table because I'm sure other people didn't know it was sold. Like for one, it is obviously I knew they sold moisturizers, but this is a spray moisturizer. But this is just a spray moisturizer that is just a, like there's no sunblock in here. It is the Sea Salt Coast lightweight, lightweight Spray Body Moisturizer. And I was like, well, that just sounds cool. <laughs> Did I need this? No, but I thought it was cool. How much was this? This was originally $21.95. Like, that's a lot of money right there. How much did I get it for? $4.71. Less than $5. Most of the stuff I got in store was 75% off. That's what I do. But I also had, um, I told you about, I'm, I'm part of the rewards members, and I had a ten, get $10 off 40. So I had that coupon still. So I was able to get $10 off 40 so that they separate that into every single little thing. And so on this particular one, it takes another like 75, eight cents off of this one. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Then another weird thing that I didn't know Bath and Body Works sold. This is a dry shampoo, Japanese cherry blossom dry shampoo. I mean, cool. I like dry shampoo. So this is originally $14.95. I got it for $3.21. I'm pretty sure that you can't get a dry shampoo for $3.21 at Walmart. And that's kind of where I get my dry shampoos is at Walmart. So I was pretty happy about it. And this is a nice smell. Is it my favorite Bath & Body Works smell? No, but I do like it. I actually, I was talking about how orange blossoms are my favorite. Cherry blossoms are good too. They're not as good as orange, but they're so good. We have sugared snickerdoodle. It's just a very nice, warm gourmand smell. Yeah, delicious. It is warm spice, creamy vanilla, sugared musk. You could burn this all year round. Delicious. But it was, you know, this was the Christmas wrapping so but um this was originally $26.95 I got it for $5.78 so less than six dollars for a three wick candle I am not complaining I think that's awesome okay so this was another one or this is one I've never even heard of I've never heard this on their website I'd never even heard of this candle before it is the smoked caramel mezcal I don't know so I was like, yeah, this is one that would not be a blind buy because I have never, I was like, what is that? Reading the notes, again, a little bit risky with this blind buy because it says generous pour of smoky mezcal, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar rum. So I think it's an alcoholic drink. Well, that makes sense. I don't drink alcohol. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Okay, but it smells great. It smells amazing. So, oh, I do. Okay, I'm getting that alcohol. Interesting. Okay, at first it's that caramel. It's very like what that other one was. Warm and caramely and, and Christmassy smelling, you know, like baking cookies. But at the end, you do get a little bit of like, a little bit of booziness. Interesting. Hmm. So this one was $5.79. Okay, because I can't split a penny. So the other one was 78 cents. Cool, great. Okay, so those were my two 75% off candles. I think there was a, a couple more 75% off candles, but I didn't like the smell of them, so I didn't get them. Okay, I did get, uh, I think this was only a 50% off candle, but I really wanted it. And I had the $10 off 40, so. And also, this candle that I'm about to show you, this 
under the sun candle was sold out online. So I was like, you know, I tell myself things. Sold out online. You can only get it in store. I have $10 off 40. It's 50% off. So I got it. Okay. It is originally $26.95. What did I get this one for? And then I will tell you what it smells like. Okay. I got it for $11.56. Not, not great. Not great. $12 for, I mean, I feel like they have their candles on sale for $12 sometimes. So that it's not terrible, but, um, it's not the best. It's not the best. Okay, this is Sweet Coconut, Sunny Banana, and Warm Jasmine. This smells like a banana Laffy Taffy, but a better. Like coconut with a banana Laffy Taffy. I personally like banana Laffy Taffies, and so that's why I like this so much. It's very summery. It's very that, you know, beachy, uh, sunscreen, banana, coconut. Mm. If you do not like banana, specifically banana Laffy Taffy, because I am really getting a lot of that, this is not the candle for you, <laughs> but I liked it a lot. Then I got some 75% off soaps, which is hard to do. I feel like soaps, they'll have like deals where they're like uh, four for $28 or they have them where they're like $4.95 or something like that, but they're never or they're rarely 75% off. These are normally $8.95. Actually, not all of them. This one is $7.95. This one is $8.95. Is it because it's prettier? Like, the packaging is prettier? That's my only thoughts. Maybe it's because of the ingredients. Maybe this one has better ingredients. I don't know. Okay. It was 75% off, plus my store coupon. So, I got these. So, this one is normally $8.95. I got it for $1.92. Real good. Really good. Okay. But that one is normally $8.95. The ones, so this one is the Hippo Puree. So all of the three ones that I got are all Easter candles, which is great for me because I love to decorate for Easter. So Hip Hip Hooray. Wait, one of them says Hip Hip Hooray. I was going to say, I said that on because one of them said that. Okay, so those ones I got for $1.70. So the price difference really isn't that much. There's, it's like 20 cents difference, but anyways, $1.70 for a soap from Bath and Body Works. Thank you very much. It's Pink Apple Punch, which is crisp apples, sun-kissed melon, and sugar crystals. Delicious. This one is Daffodil Dreams, which is whipped marshmallow. Oh, I mean, you got me there. Uh, pastel Clouds and Sweet Daffodil. And this guy is Cottontail Cake Pop. I mean, delicious. <laughs> It says delicious here. Delicious cake batter, rainbow sprinkles, and fluffy buttercream. Yes, thank you. And because they were such good prices, I got, you know, double. I got six of them. I got two of each. I got some more of those car things, the things you put in your car. I got Waikiki Beach Coconut, um, Calypso Clementine, another Waikiki Beach Coconut, and Vacation Vibes. And those are originally $4.95, which I think is, I guess they last for a month or more, but I still think that's kind of pricey. For how, like, little they are, a dollar and six and seven cents, you know. This, a dollar seven cents, a dollar six cents, depending on which one it is. So a dollar. I got this for a dollar. Pretty happy about it. Okay. Then I got some more wallflowers. I love to get wallflowers for 75% off. Just like the soaps, they're not always 75% off. They'll have them for like $3.95, $4.95, or like four for 28, which is not that great. Or is it like five for 28? It might be five for 28. Anyway, still not that great. But when you get them 75% off, it is great. So this one's Vacation Vibes, which is, it says it's fruity and bright, and it is Juicy Pineapple. You had me there. Sugar coconut, again, have me, and golden orange. I could have done with just the coconut and pineapple, but I like orange too, so. Um, I got these for $1.71, yay. And I got a couple of them. One, two, three, four. Because they were 75% off. I kind of go crazy when I get a good sale, sale, a good deal. One more thing. Again, I said at the beach doesn't go on sale very often. So when I saw it in store on sale, I picked it up. It was only 50% off because at the beach doesn't go on sale very often. 
And I did pick up during the Christmas semi-annual sale, I picked up a pineapple sun, like body wash, but it wasn't a moisturizing body wash. And I like the moisturizing body washes because I have dry skin. So it is normally $17.95. This was $7.70. So not 75% off, but better than 50% off. What's really fun is when you're in store, it'll tell you like how good you did and it'll be like, this was like $60, but you saved $140 and you're like, ooh, but you're like, I still spent $60. I think I did good. I had fun because I always do and I'm going to use all of this because I always do. I love for my house and for me to smell good. Did you go to the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale? And if you did, what did you get? Let me know. Did you get anything that I got? Did you get different stuff? Do you find that the in-store is better than online? Anyways, just talk to me. Tell me some things. I enjoy talking to my commenters. All right, well, I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you like this video, like this video. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.